Hi, Divine Feminines. This is Row to Row. All personal readings will be out today and tomorrow, guys. I still have that sale going on. It's going to be for the whole month of April. All my readings are $10. So if you want to know how your Divine Masculine is doing right now, as we're in the full moon in Libra, book a reading below on my website. Um, but I was saying we are in a pink super moon. It is the full moon in Libra. So the full moon in Libra symbolizes rebirth. It drives us to make room for new blessings in our lives, such as real love, new habits, and skills. And um, for some, there's going to be a lot of endings here. You know, Libra is all about the justice card and of balance, right? So it's going to be the beginning for the collective to end things and release things that are toxic and burdensome here. The signs are, that are going to be most affected by this full moon in Libra, also known as the pink supermoon, are Leos, Libras, and Scorpios. So... A few signs, if you guys are feeling emotional, this is why, the full moon in Libra. So like I was saying, full moon in Libra, it, it's, the, it's the endings of releasing anything that is toxic and burns on us. And what's the first card that came out for my divine masculines here? Eight of Cups. You know, this is that Scorpio. If your divine masculine is a Scorpio, they're definitely walking away from Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces. They're definitely walking away here, but Scorpios are more affected in this full moon in Libra. So no matter what, it doesn't matter what sign, your divine masculine is walking away from things that are burdensome, that are not emotionally fulfilling to them, that are toxic. And they're coming in to not only heal themselves, for divine masculine is Aquarius, they're only they're also healing, um, they want to heal with you as well. Because over our energy, we have the eight of pentacles here. So they're focusing on their finances, working hard on their financials, their career, their stability here. Um, and this is what they're walking away from. Third party interference here with the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. They're done. They're done entertaining other people. They're done letting other people talk them into things that they really don't want to do, but they're doing out of pressure here. They're seeing you as taking care of yourself, Divine Feminines. This is your card here, the Queen of Wands, and they're heading towards you. They're leaving this interference behind, and they're coming for the Six of Swords. <laughs> Look, this is the full moon. A lot of you might get texts and phone calls um, from your divine masculine. A lot of divine feminines since for like, what, four weeks now? Have been emailing me, telling me that the divine masculines have been texting them, joking around with them, randomly appearing, you know, saying that, you know, saying that they want to be with them, you know, and they want to work things out. So keep it up, divine feminines. Keep growing and keep glowing here because they see that you are the one. They see that you are their twin flame here. So of course I am going to clarify but they're done they're done yeah six of wands here aries leo sagittarius energy and again the full moon is more affected uh, for this month leos libras and scorpios this is another leo and scorpio here they're done your divine masculine for scorpios and leos they're definitely walking away and again full moon in libra justice balance things are balancing out this is a powerful new moon also called the pink super moon and they're becoming single and they're looking at you again growing and glowing you're you're vibrant you're healthy and the fact that you're getting your things together here divine feminist this is the energy that they're feeling that pull to you know nourish and care for themselves to not only heal their connections in their lives but heal themselves here yeah and they want to heal this union you know they want to heal this partnership with you they want to balance things out they want to see i to eye with you you know they're not playing around <laughs> and we have the moon again it's seeing everything is coming to light all the wrong things that they did is coming to light and they still feel passionate about you but they're letting a lot of good things go with this moon card as well here but they're coming in <laughs> they're definitely coming in here we have the six of swords twice to at least be peaceful some of them just might you know want to work on friendship here a lot of divine feminists have been telling me they're work going slow and working on that friendship which is good here yeah they're in hermit mode getting rid of people if they're a virgo and they're a virgo they're working hard on their finances they're not worried about anything else right now but groundness and stability right here and they're sticking up for the things that they want as well which is you divine feminines and bruce card <laughs> they're not playing around this quarantine has really exposed a lot of people yeah they're being selfish now again they're not listening to other people here they're not even looking at them he has his ar arms crossed and keeping everything to himself now he doesn't care about people opinions here yeah 
<laughs> Why? Because <laughs> there you are, Divine Masculine Emperor, Aries energy. He's by himself. You see these three cards? He's by himself. He's not listening to other people and he's trusting his own emotional fulfillment, things that's going to make him happy. They're humming all these cards. This is energy. <laughs> yeah. Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Three of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, they're not giving to the third parties anymore. We have the Three of Pentacles. They're not giving to this anymore. Here, on this Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they want to come in and heal this. And they know that they had to get rid of giving to other people in order to heal this partnership with you, Divine Feminines. Yeah, they're coming in the hill. <laughs> they're coming in to heal here. We have the star card twice. Because they now know that they hold the key. Like, they're the only ones. Only them hold the power to manifest exactly what they want in their lives. And this was, this was a lesson learned for them. They see all the options that was in front of them, and they were choosing what other people thought. But now they're seeing things for themselves here. Yeah. And they're coming back to you. If a lot of you are hurt and have your guard up, which is why you're showing us the Queen of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you know, you're, you guys are emotional right now, you know? And it's like, you, if you come to me, you better come correct type thing. And it's like, I feel like you're going to allow them to see what they have to say here. Because, you know, you truly are the divine feminine. You, you know, the universe trusts in your decisions that you're going to make here. Um... But this cancer, they're coming forward, and whatever was keeping them tied up, it was a karmic relationship, karmic coworker, karmic family member. This is over. They're no longer listening to others and following traditions here with the hierophant in reverse here. That's Taurus energy. Yeah. And they're leaving sneaky people behind. They're leaving, you know, lying or going behind your back or just being this man like manipulative energy that's over with. He's learning. He's learning his lessons here and he's coming in again some of you all you have been getting this page of cups energy here for your divine mass since we've been coming back just very flirty and just you know just saying hey what's up how you doing you know what a lot of them want to take you out here with that page of cups here i want to just call you and talk to you here with this page of swords yeah but they're just resting contemplating dreaming about um coming together with you and being intimate here with that ace of wands card but they're just feeling unbalanced right now you know but they're resting because you guys aren't communicating i'm going to clarify this ace of wands yeah so they're isolated right now just thinking about wanting to come towards you really bad with that six of cups uh showing up here and they're just ending when they see burnings burn <laughs> burnings what is that burnings in this full moon and libra energy so this is some very powerful energy guys like they're not playing around. They're seeing this is very powerful. Is through energies right now because your divine masculine, their emotions are in check and they're very, very powerful. They're now having their emotional fulfillment. They're on their throne, divine feminines, and they are coming to union with you soon. Wow, what was that card? Ascending, exactly. Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. And what did I say? Look at them contemplating this union right here with that four of swords. They had their emotions in check. They're resting here after getting rid of responsibilities and obligations here. And they're thinking about you, divine feminists. We have the sword in the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, force, honor, protection, power, exactly. <laughs> First honor, protection, power. They're, they're protecting their throne now. They're not letting anyone get in the way. Do you see this? Arms is crossed. Not letting anyone get away. Or get any, you know, their opinion here. Yeah, mass. Not showing true feelings. High, persevere, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So, you know, this with these three cards, you know, you can tell in his facial expression. Like, they're not showing their hand. They're not showing their hand. You know, he's smirking a little bit, but you can't read their face. They just seem like they're just looking all around, just keeping their eyes and, um, what's that? Eyes and T's dotted and crossed, whatever you say. I don't know. <laughs> that saying. Um, but then we have passion here. Insane chemistry, like each other, have fun equally. So the divine, fa divine masculines are ending these burdens here. And things are coming to light with this full moon in Libra here. So I really hope this resonates with you guys. If you like a personal reading, please go to my website below. Thank you.